Well, Casey Casterline and John Katz. <laughs> and you're there in middle New Jersey. But more important, <laughs> your business is on the web for anybody all over the world. And really, your, your, your website is really like going shopping in the biggest beauty shop ever. Like you're bigger than Ultra or Sephora or all these things. It's online. But it's free. It's Man, free. you get all the beauty products you want for free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you do this? What is this about that you could go to? Okay, the, the website is ediv.com. So you're divvying up things. E-D-I-V-V dot com. Yep. And it's all free. Are you guys crazy? You, you born with silver spoons in your mouth? Or what's <laughs> going on here? So basically, it's a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace. So the reason ah. it's free is you're taking products that you already have that you aren't, weren't going to use, and you're trading them with other people. Ah, so it's beauty products or whatever. So, John, you were just trying to get rid of all those beauty products that are hanging around your bathroom. <laughs> I know, I have so many, and, and <laughs> uh, trying to get, get her, you know, products, you know. But you do have a men's section. I mean, I mean, I, I have a lot of stuff I'm using now, and it seems like more and more men are getting all in all these beauty products. But it, it, it's the women. I mean, you have so many things on your side. So, in other words, when I go into the uh, mall, and they're giving me away little freebie or whatever, or I get something in the mail, it's a free, I can go on your site and exchange it for something I really, really want, huh? Yeah, so women obtain beauty products in so many ways nowadays, especially because of subscription boxes, you know, uh, you go to the mall, you're getting free samples, you're getting a kit, you only use part of them. We've actually had 120,000 products uploaded to the site. Wow! So there is so many products out there. 120,000 products! <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that women have these extra products and they wow. are not going to use them and they're obtaining them from all these many ways. And wow. it's better to get value for those items that they weren't going to use. Wow. So in other words, when an admirer gives you some you know, perfume or something that you know you're never going to use, right? <laughs> you can go to your side and exchange it for something that you really will lose. And if yep. that sucker spent a lot of money on it, you could buy a whole lot of stuff for free on your site. Yeah, exactly. Wow. And you guys handle the shipping. I mean, you pay for the shipping, but still, you make it easy. You send a label, do all this kind of stuff. So for a few bucks, man, I, I get stuff that I, I couldn't afford otherwise. Exactly. You're getting stuff that you are not paying for. Yeah. You know, the value is based on each individual user. So you might be getting a better deal in your sense right. if they agree to it. And then all the shipping is seamless on the site. We take care of any issues, and it's free to post your products and trade. Wow. So another, I sign up for free, and, and I trade for free. It's only when I really buy something or somebody buys something from me, uh, and then they have to pay for shipping, right? Exactly. So, so it's the buyer that pays for shipping or the sender, seller that pays for shipping? So they're both paying for shipping because ah. they're both sending each other items. Oh, I see. That's right. Duh. <laughs> that MBA cost my parents plenty, and I can't even think of that, right? <laughs> well, that's amazing. And you guys just started uh, like a year ago, but yep. you got, you know, you're such a hot little high tech company because everybody wants to invest in you. And you got all these investors <laughs> and whatever, and, and, and figuring out this business because it's where the go uh, world is going, right? Yep. The sharing economy and peer to peer. So we're getting rid of that stuff and don't have to clutter up our medicine cabinet with all this stuff we'll never use. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. So are, are you considered a green company, even though you're a fashion company or what? <laughs> uh, I guess you could say that. I mean, we're taking things that people aren't going to yeah. use and we're getting, you know, people are getting utility out, utility mm -hmm. out of them. So. Right. Oh, that so it, it, it's recycling, uh, you know, stuff you don't need anymore. And that's why we'll all be able to live more efficient, it seems. You know? Yeah, definitely. And, and not, uh, how about the cosmetic companies? Are they pissed at you or what? <laughs> well, before, before us, there were other solutions. Women were uh, going on blogs and forums. They were emailing back and forth. So it's not like we created mm -hmm. this industry. We right. didn't create bartering. It was already going on, but in an I insufficient see. manner. We just yeah. made it easy made it trackable and we gave them a fun platform to do so yeah 
But it's not I mean, to me what, what, what's unique because peer to peer, that means your peers are all over the world. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what's so cool. You know, I mean, before you'd have to, you know, go to the coffee shop and see who else wants to, you know, trade your lipstick for something else, you know. And now you have hundreds of thousands of people yeah. <laughs> that you can, somebody's going to want your stuff. You know, it's such a better market. You're really creating a market for all this. You know? yeah. I mean, that, that's what you're doing. I mean, you're the reason this is happening. It'll be happening better than just people in their neighborhood. It'll be happening in the world and you'll be educating people about products they never even knew they were existed. Yeah. Better products, fancier products, more reasonable products, or whatever. I mean, you're really going to educate people more than any cosmetic counter can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no question. Yeah, because you're all over the world, and, you, and you'll be getting ideas from all over. So it seems like a, a great site to just to keep up on stuff in the industry. You know, you know, instead of shopping around the malls or whatever, I don't have to do that because I will see products from all over the world just on your site. It's going to be bigger than any of the cosmetic stores that are out there because nobody's going to carry 120,000 products. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's what you got. So you guys are really, I mean, you think the beauty industry is superfluous, but it, it, it's big, you know, and I think you're making people use their money wiser, mm -hmm. you know, in this industry, which, which, you know, I don't really know the economics, but it seems like there's a whole lot of money in that just because of the beauty part, you know, yeah. <laughs> and who knows what you're buying or getting value for. But on your site, you could get true value because it's not costing you anything. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You could test out new products. You could get products yeah. that you've already tried and you want to replace. There's a lot of different yeah. options. Wow. So, I mean, it, it, uh, what got you into this? You were just looking for an idea? Is that how to start a business? I mean, you're young people, just a few years out of college, aren't you? Yeah, well, this actually happened to me. I was really into subscription boxes. I was getting a ah, few boxes a month. And then wow. all of a sudden, it just started piling up, the extra stuff that I just wasn't going to use. So I oh, went online. I, I checked what other women were doing. I found this whole secondary market on blogs and forums, and I said, "Well, that's oh. great that they're doing it, but um, you know, there it, it, there wasn't a great solution. Yeah. We need to create a platform to bring everyone together and make the whole process seamless." All right. So in other words, you had the idea, you went out and found people who thought it was a good idea, gave you money, and, and now you're in business and yep. don't have to go to that boring job anymore, huh? It's, it sounds easier than it, it was. was easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, wonderful. Well, John and Casey, it's a delight talking with you. It sounds like a terrific idea. You're going to, you know, in an industry that people, you know, who are serious people make fun of, you're helping the world <laughs> by, by having the peer to peer. And, yeah, and, and, and the sharing economy, I, I think it's so important. And get people a place that could get incredible value for products that, you know, uh, you can go and who knows if that's really worth $75 or something. Yep, yep. And, and you'll find out on your site. So it's uh, ediv.com, E-D-I-V-V.com. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, take care, guys. Right. Talk to Bye. you soon. Bye. Appreciate Bye. it.